As they watch this small plane land at King County International Airport, supporters hope efforts to increase kokanee salmon in Lake Sammamish will take off. You help them, they help you, and you walk in life together. Snoqualmie Tribal Council member Bill Sweet has memories of fishing them, but those are now a rarity. Due to the, the heat cha temperature changes, the kokanee has been disappearing, they've been overfished. After just 20 were counted in 2017, emergency actions were launched to save them. Crews fixed culverts, restored habitats, and incubated eggs and flew fish to Orcas Island to grow. That provides protection from the elements that might be in Lake Sammamish, like high temperatures, low dissolved oxygen, uh, predators, disease. Today they flew back eggs spawned by those kokanee and will let them hatch in Issaquah before bringing them to Lake Sammamish. King County says efforts like these are working, with more than 2,000 adult kokanee counted this year returning to spawn. But Executive Dow Constantine says this is just one of many efforts leaders must take on as wildlife habitats change. You see a small example of what our responsibilities are going to be in the future as the climate changes, as the earth becomes uh, more and more uh, difficult for animals. Uh, we are going to have to step up our interventions to save those species, to preserve uh, biodiversity. In King County, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.